Howdy y'all, welcome back to the Den with DBZ All Star. It's been a while, I'm DBZ All Star, or Steve if you prefer. And May the 4th be with you. It is Saturday, May 4th, 2024. And those who are in the know, you know, it's Star Wars Day. So I wanted to take a little bit of the time out and talk to you about some of the best Star Wars stories to read to celebrate such an occasion. And I'll start off with just four, even though you can see me surrounded by a few other omnibus. So let's get started with the first choice. So the first book I wanted to present to you is Star Wars, The New Republic, Volume 1. For those of you out there who started off your journey with the original trilogy, Episodes 4, 5, and 6, also known as A New Hope, Empire Strikes Back, and Return of the Jedi, you might be wondering what happened following that sixth film in the original canon. Well, as you can see, this is titled Legends. What that stands for, for those who don't know, is the fact that when Disney took over in the early 2010s, the Star Wars franchise, the old expanded universe, all the books, all the comics, the video games, they had been canon to that original mythology, but they became an alternate timeline or universe with Disney creating their own products. However, that doesn't mean that the content within can't be enjoyed. This presents what happened to the Rebel Alliance following the destruction and dissolution of the Empire. So you can follow characters such as Han Solo, Luke Skywalker, and many others, old and new, throughout this first volume of the Omnibus, which collects several different stories, ranging from By the em Emperor's Hand and X-Wing Rogue Squadron, which focuses on a specific group of X-Wing fighters that formed during the Rebel Alliance and what they're doing in the aftermath of the Battle of Endor. This is, as far as I can see, still available. It retails for $125. If you're interested in seeing what the old canon was like and what it takes to rebuild after a war, comes highly recommended, especially if you're looking forward to new and different adventures with old friends. So next up, this is, as of right now, out of print, but if you can track this down, this comes highly recommended. This is Star Wars, The Old Republic Omnibus. This collects the entire series that was published by Dark Horse. And it focuses on the time from before the prequels, what being a Jedi Knight was like, what it was like living in the Republic back in the day, and focuses on a set of characters, how they traverse these different worlds and deal with the culture back then, as well as what conflict was like, whether it was between Jedi versus the Sith, which we've seen seems like since time and memoriam with Star Wars, or if you're looking for something with a little bit more of a different flavor. This is an all-in-one story. Hopefully Marvel does reprint it. As always, feel free to vote every March or April on the Near Mint Condition reprint poll that Omar sends over to Marvel to see if we can't get fabulous books such as this reprinted. Again, this comes highly recommended as well. Next up, you cannot have a Star Wars list without a great villain, and a villain with a complicated inner turmoil. Who better to focus on than the Dark Lord of the Sith himself, Darth Vader. I know many people highly recommend the Gillen run. I do as well. However, I want to buck that trend and focus instead on the Charles Soule run which was released in omnibus form and has since been reprinted. So if it's out of print right now, let's hope it gets another reprint. It's only 25 issues of story began publication in 2017 and did in 
believe late 2018, early 2019. And instead of focusing on Darth Vader in the aftermath of the Battle of Yavin, when the Death Star exploded, this picks up immediately after Star Wars Episode Three: Revenge of the Sith, and shows you a young Anakin dealing with the fact that everything he thought in his life would remain whole has been shattered. His marriage is torn to pieces, he's lost his children, he's lost several limbs, he's been badly burned, he's encased in this healing suit. He is now Darth Vader, and he recognizes he's under the Emperor's heel at this point and has to rebuild his life. He's at conflict within himself, deciding if he's made the right choice in joining Palpatine's side, and if he should help continue constructing this empire that has decimated the Jedi Order. Has amazing artwork all throughout by Giuseppe Caminicoli, if I'm pronouncing that properly, and this is another all-in-one story by the wonderful Charles Soule. Comes highly recommended, as do all the books on this list. And finally, on this list, Dr. Afra's Omnibus, Volume 1. This is an absolutely stellar story. This character was created by Kieran Gillen in issue 3 of his Darth Vader run, published in 2015. And she's just stuck around. Picture yourself reading an Indiana Jones story but the character is chaotic, neutral, and is willing to take all sides, be it the Rebel Alliance, the Empire, very self-serving character, but very complex because of that. Along for the ride, you've got a dark Wookiee and two very murderous droids. Collected in this first omnibus is the complete original series, as well as the integral pieces of that Darth Vader story, including issue three. There is a second omnibus out there by Alyssa Wong. Unfortunately, I can't really recommend that as much. If you're looking for an original character creating during the Disney era that just keeps people coming back for more that they would love to see in live action, cannot recommend this book enough. Out of the four that I've given a spotlight in this video, this would be my number one choice for a Star Wars omnibus. It sold out almost immediately during its first print run. It's been reprinted again. We do have that volume two if you want further exploration of the character, but if you have to select one, this is what I recommend. Now, if, as fans of the franchise, as fans of anything, we always want something more. We want something better because of the love we have for our hobbies and for the movie and comic franchises we enjoy. What I'd like to see Marvel is a reprint of these fantastic omnibus editions. These are the original Star Wars comics as published by Marvel Comics, included in one, two, three omnibus, plus the exclusive Marvel UK collection, which continued the story post-Marvel finalizing publication of the original series in the United States. These have been out of print for a while. The hardest to find volume seems to be volume one for obvious reasons, but I would love to see these reprinted. These stories are no longer canon, but these were the first opportunity for fans to have an expanded universe in comic book form. So if you out there watching or interested in stories from the original era of Star Wars comics, if you can, track these down. Don't overpay, obviously, but track these down. Some of these stories are also available in the epic format, but to have that oversized classic artwork, the omnibus is what I recommend. So thank you those of you out there who have watched this video. Thank you for your continued support of this channel. Please use the comments to tell me what other videos you'd like to see. Use the comments to tell me what your favorite Star Wars movie is, your favorite TV show, comic, book. Are you a fan of the Disney era, the original expanded universe? 
Are you more of a Star Trek fan? Let's get some interaction going. And again, if you're interested, please check out some of the books I've recommended here, especially this Dr. Aphra book or the Charles Soule Darth Vader run. Very, very underrated run. Just as good, if not better, than the Kieran Gillen run. Well worthwhile. Thanks for watching this video. And may the fourth be with you. Always.